Okay, so um, since I'm working around um, these spars that I allowed, that I just kept kind of where they were, I decided that, um, and I'm going to, and the sheeting is going to have to kind of just go around that. Um, so the spars are a little bit higher than the um, than the ribs, and that's sort of like what it is here also. So you kind of have to cut the sheets to fit around it. Um, so what I did is I cut the first one, which is this one right here. And it's going to go right here, actually, onto here, like this. And the way I the way I got that slot is that I I I went ahead and I cut it on this side, and I just pressed it down, and then I traced it from the inside from over here. So you can see that in there. So basically, what it is I put the I put the balsa sheeting up against it and then I just basically traced where that spar is and then I was able to go ahead and cut out this little groove for it. Now the spar is actually not sitting up as high as this as the sheeting is thick so there's going to be a slight little step in it and so what I decided to do I'm going to go ahead and put it on and then I'll probably fill it in with micro balloons or something else. Um, it's probably not going to be that important if it has a little bit of a it's a little bit if the spar is a little bit lower then the sheeting. So if I put this on here like this, you'll be able to tell that it, I have to pop it in here, but you'll be able to see that it's kind of a little bit higher. The sheeting's a little bit higher than the actual spar. Um, I don't think that's a big deal. I may go in and fill that in, like I said, with micro balloons, which are these things right here, which are just basically filler. Um, and that's something we can do if we need to. But um, anyhow, that's not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have to trace these before, so I have to trace the top ones before, obviously before I put the bottom ones on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trace all four of these front um, panels or these front sheets and then I can go ahead and attach them. Okay, now here you can go ahead and see the the line that I, or the spar that I trace, so I can cut that out now. there. Okay, so you can see how it's going to work. And what I'll do is I won't glue this one on yet. I'll do this one over here. So, I'll, so now I can, once I get them all done, I'm going to mark them so I make sure I don't forget which one is which. This is going to be the bottom left. So I'm just going to put 
BL for bottom left. And then I can go ahead and do this. So now I have my bottom left and I have my bottom right, which are gonna go like this on here. As you can see. So I'll do the top ones now. So this little step that I'm doing right here, this is just something completely what I'm doing on my own. This isn't in the plans, this isn't in, in the instructions. I'm doing this because I left this spar in here, in this section. So if um, you had this kit and you're building it and you didn't leave the spar in, the instructions say just to take it here, you wouldn't have to do this. Okay, so I've got this first, um, um, this is the lower, I guess the lower right panel or sheet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and glue it along the back this and that's going to sort of anchor it onto the um onto the wing and then what i'm going to do is fold it down so basically all i'm going to do is i'm just going to just kind of roll it over and glue it as i go and it's going to be easier to do the um do do this one because i can glue it from the bottom um, when I go to the top side though, I'm not going to be able to glue it from the bottom. So we're going to do a little bit different method on that. But so for right now though, I'm just going to go ahead and get this to fit on here. And bring it to the front. And then when I get all the way to the front, um, then I'm just going to go ahead and trim it to fit. And then we'll just go ahead and pin it down along the front also. So go in here and I can hit this side the CA just drops out of this thing this bottles too big okay so yeah so you can see how all I have to do now is kind of bring it up and then when I get it close I can trim it Okay, now that I'm close um, to the front, I went and I marked both sides kind of where I think I'm gonna need to cut it. And I'm just going to, um, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna try to get it perfect on the first cut, but I am gonna go ahead and cut it um, based on those two lines or on those two marks right through here. And that should get me close and then I can kind of Kind of fine tune it as as I go. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this now. I'm just going to carefully kind of trim this down. Now, so there's other ways I could have. There are other ways to do this. I could have tried to fit it all before I started gluing. That's okay, also, and I may do that on some other ones. But this one I'm kind of experimenting with the first kind of sets here of these sheets so I can cut my thumb off that's close right there okay so good it's like I'm pretty good here trim a little bit thumb here so what you want to do is what I want is I want to make sure I can get the get it to fit like right on top of the, the rib and it's gonna come back a little bit from the leading edge. Um, and, and then we'll go, then from there, when we shape the leading edge, everything will kind of blend in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of um, fine tune this, um, this edge right here, and then I'm come back and glue it down. Okay, so I went and trimmed this, and now I can get it on here. Now there's other methods of doing this. Now, this isn't the only way to do this, and this is, every, every kit's gonna be different, and there's going to be different applications on how to do it, um, depending on the geometry of what you're doing. So I'm just kind of doing it this way, but there's there's many ways to do it. So I think some people actually get these things wet and they they kind of lay them on top with weights and things like bean bags and things like that to kind of um, get them to form and let them dry. Um, other people do, like I said, clamping. Sometimes clamping um, clamping will work 
but you got to make sure that you um, kind of clamp it correctly. In fact, I could probably clamp this down and it would probably work pretty good. So let me see if that would work. Let me grab some clamps here and I can go with the CA. If, if it will work, I'm not sure. It may be too strong. Clamp may be too strong. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna just do the kind of like patient method and glue it with CA and hold it for a few seconds or minutes and to see if I can get it to bond and then move, keep moving. Then once I get it stuck onto the rib, the main section, then I'll go back and I'll try to go along the whole leading edge and get it to, to bond really nicely. Well, I'm surprised I haven't glued my finger on here yet. Yeah, this one probably will, because I just made a big mess. One thing I haven't used is um, that zip kicker or zap kicker, whatever it's called, that helps to make the CA dry even faster. Um, maybe one day I'll try that. Okay, well this looks like it's actually worked pretty good. Um, so back in here, like I said, back in here, I am going to I am going to fill that. That's going to be easy to do, and we'll do that with the micro balloons, and that'll be another another um, installment. But so I'm going to go ahead and work on these other ones. I don't think I want to show every one of these on the video. It'll just take forever. So I'm going to go ahead and work on these, and I'll come back and show a few other features but um, this is how it's going to look okay so I got the bottom sheeted as you can see um, came out pretty good and now I can work on the top so um you know it's a little tricky to sort of kind of cut around these things but these are all kind of um, you know straight lines and 90 degree angles so it's not too difficult to kind of take the time to do that so um Sheeting is, like I mentioned before, sheeting is one of these things that um, takes practice and um, there's different ways of doing it and um, sometimes it's trial and error because um, it is difficult because you basically have to, you know, cut things to fit and then you have to kind of bend them over the, um, over the airfoil. And so this is going to get me pretty close and then um, once I get both sides finished, then um, I can go ahead and do the filling of the things I need to fill. And then we can start uh, doing the sanding and shaping the wing. Okay, so as you can see, I'm kind of working my way across the top now. Um, I was going to use um, just a basic wood glue, like a standard wood glue to do this because I needed the drying time since I couldn't, you know, obviously apply the glue from the, from the backside like I did on the, um, on the bottom. But then I realized, hey, why don't I try some, some thick CA? So, um, and it's working out pretty, pretty nicely. So. I'm just going to go ahead and use a thick CA, kind of put it over these spots, and then it gives me enough time to set the piece in and then um, hold it, and it seems to be working pretty well. One thing I did is I put these extra little, um, these little supports here, these little 1 8 by 1 8 inch pieces of um, spruce that I had um, left over. And that's going to help support the um, the sheeting in this area. So this should be okay like this. I'm going to put a little bit on the edge here. Like I said, I have lots of time compared to just the plain thin CA to do this. All right, let's go ahead and stick this one on here. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit over. I can kind of fill this little gap over here on the top, this little edge right here. Probably a little bit too much. I'm just going to put it in like that. So there's that one. And I'm going to go back as I do this. I'm going to put a little bit of thin CA on this side. Get it in here. Get that in there. Maybe a little bit on this one.
Okay, so I finished sheeting the wing. Um, I have the top and the bottom. And I think it came out pretty good. I'm happy with the results. Um, so now what I have to do just to finish this up is to do exactly that, just to finish it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the micro balloon method and fill in some of these low spots. Um, I'm going to trim and kind of shape and make sure that the edges are kind of matched also in here. And, um, and then after that, go ahead and shape the entire wing, get it sanded. Um, and then that's the final step before putting on the, um, there's going to be a, a fiberglass kind of reinforced, epoxy reinforced fiberglass strip that goes all the way around. And that'll finish it up for the wing. So um, that's it for now. And um, yeah, so we'll see you next time. And thanks for watching.